Hello Universe, this is Gypsy. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to. This video is my Pan as Old as Time project. This is a Pantastic Ladies project, the Pantastic Ladies of Facebook. In this project, we went through our collection of eyeshadow palettes and chose our oldest eyeshadow palette to pan in the year 2019. The project started January 1st and it runs through December 1st. My pan as old as time is a 1992, that's right, a 1992 Avon palette. This palette originally had eight pans of color, eyeshadow color, and two cheek colors, two blushes. Um, I then glued <clears throat> three random, smaller, much lighter eyeshadows into a space of the pan, into, the, into a space of the palette where a brush used to lie. And these were to complement, like, to, to work under the eyebrow. They were to complement the, pal the palette. And I also created a separate palette to work with this to pull from just to have handy but quite honestly my um, pan that palette of the week project has sufficed and I have had a lot of um, colors to complement it last month I cobbled together one of the um, I believe it was a brown shade in the corner and created an olive and I did completely use up the two colors that I cobbled together that I frankenpanned. I did completely use those up. And today I've cobbled together the rest of a lighter eyebrow um, highlight. But the highlight, the color that I chose to, to highlight right up under the eyebrow because I couldn't reach in with the brush anymore. It was starting to damage the brush. And I chose to mix the green and the black with that tan color. And this is the color I came up with right here. It's still drying. It is darker. And, and this green beside it got wet when I sprayed it. Because I have a spray pump of um, alcohol when I do my... Um, Franken panning or mixing my colors but and this one got wet the green one beside it got wet but if you look closely at these two colors above you'll see pan I have pan in the brown and I have pan in the turquoise I actually have a lot of use on that brown and turquoise I've been using those to set the eyeliner or to smoke out the corner and on occasion to put in the um, crease area in the transition shade shaded area with some of the pans of time the black I have also set a few set the eyeliner a few times with but not nearly as often as the brown and the turquoise and honestly I still haven't reached into the olive a whole lot but you can see some wear on it and I use this on occasion depending on what I've rolled in for the week this is completely empty and this is showing some wear on it and the dome the top off of this elf product is showing some wear quite a bit of wear on the blush on the darker blush the reason I started reaching into this is because the foundation that I'm now wearing as a result of panning my a lighter shade um, works better with this darker shade of blush compared to this much lighter shade of blush. I will tell you that when this foundation has I've panned it out, I believe my next foundation is going to be very light. I have already panned out the um concealer that I was using. The concealer I've rolled in is working a lot better. These dark shades that I'm wearing cause the dark circles under my eyes to be very prominent. This is a recent change. The um, 
the the concealer is a recent change it's actually a brightener I believe it's a YSL brightener and it is working much better so that I can enjoy these darker shades without having such dark um, lines under the eyes so a few changes in other makeup is, is making this work much better but you can see there's my pan on turquoise there's my pan on brown this has recently been mixed I do know from experience that when I scrape these colors and mix them together it remains soft even though I've pressed I've pressed it really hard it remains soft and I tend to have to use a big blending brush and touch it very lightly if I go in and try and use that product to set the brown eyeliner that I'm panning that I've been working on all year it'll go to pieces and it'll make a mess and I'll have to immediately repress it so I'll be repressing it several times a week it just gets to be too much it just has to do with the formulation of this powder it's it's nice nicely packed together I'll touch the olive because I don't believe it got wet it's nicely it's densely packed but when I scrape it to cobble it there's the brown and here's the turquoise if I scrape it to cobble it it turns into a powder that um, can be a problem it could be a problem you have to be real careful with it this has a lot of sheen to it but it's a very dark color and I have worn that just over the lid just a one and done look over the lid a little bit of brown eyeliner and out the door I'm still enjoying this palette I'm not sick of it I'm not sick of it yet um, it's teaching me a lot about makeup application and how to make things work this is I've covered the mirror it and it's it's giving me I guess a basis to work from so that when I pull in a palette of the week to work with this I kind of know what's going to be happening as an eyeliner or smoking the corners out I already know what I'm working with so um, I don't get overwhelmed in trying to make a selection of what to complement this with so guys this is my pan as old as time this is my March update. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I will be back in about a month to give you the April update to see if I've expanded pan more on the turquoise and the brown or if I've started reaching into the black. The black is pretty dawning to me. I don't mind lining my eyes with brown, but lining my eyes with black is daunting so that's why I've used it to cobble with these greens to cobble and to make other colors I, I'm making use of it but probably not the manufacturers intended use but they shouldn't put black in every palette anyway that's my opinion so I'll see you guys again in a month and if you haven't subscribed please feel free to I love making new friends and I appreciate your feedback and your comments and your advice it's been a wonderful experience um, sharing this with you guys on YouTube. Have a great weekend.